Hello everyone, welcome back, this is Pasco, and Mr. Distinction. If you are new or you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can subscribe now. Very soon. And today's video, we are going to answer question 7b of Science Paper 2, 2023, and this is School Certificate. Right, so question 7b, question 7b, a reads, our kings are said to be unsaturated to carbons. Then, the first question, Question A1, explain the meaning of unsaturated hydrocarbon. So this was a simple question because we have only two types of uh, hydrocarbons. We have saturated hydrocarbons and we have unsaturated hydrocarbons. So when we talk of saturated hydrocarbons, these are hydrocarbons which have single bond between carbon atoms. But when we talk of unsaturated, when we talk of an unsaturated hydrocarbons, these are hydrocarbons which have at least two bonds between carbon atoms. Hydrocarbons which have at least double bonds between carbon atoms. So if you can see clearly here, we have double bonds between these two carbon atoms. So these are hydro, uh, these are unsaturated hydrocarbons. Alright, so that was the answer for the first question. Let us go to question 7b. Question 7b, uh, question 7a2. Distinguish between a thing and a thing. And this also was a simple question because if we can see clearly, we have a thing here, and we have a thing over here. So we can see that between these two. Uh, members we have a member which has got an E and we have a member which has got an A. So this will help us to identify or to, to distinguish the difference between these two members. So because this member has got an E over here it means this member belongs to our kids. So a thing belongs to our kids kings and uh, this member as we can see has got an a e over a and this means that this member belongs to our kings so that was the first thing, difference because if you can see over here we have got i mean max two which means we have to give two differences so the first difference is that uh, a thing belongs belongs to our kids belongs to our kids well uh, a thing belongs to our kids right so this was the first answer then the second answer or the second difference is that uh, a thing is an unsaturated hydrocarbon so a thing is an unsaturated hydrocarbon wow Then is an example of uh, saturated saturated hydro hydrocarbons. All right. So these were the possible answers for this question and if you can see we have two differences which mean which means we have gotten the two marks over here all right so let's go to the let's go to the to the to the second question which is question 7 b so question 7 b reads polyvinyl chloride 
is a polymer whose monomer is meaning chloride or chloroethene. So we have a monomer of polyvinyl chloride, and this monomer is called vinyl chloride. Right, so we are told question B A or question B1, we are told to draw a diagram to show part of polyvinyl chloride polymer contain the three vinyl chloride monomers so we have been given vinyl chloride monomer so we are just told to write um, a polymer which has got these this monomer but in this case we have to repeat it how many times three times according to the question so this is also a simple question so our answer Will look like this so we are going to have the first vinyl chloride as a monomer as a first monomer most important you have to know that when you are writing a polymer you have to break the double bonds so that the other one the other bond we have and we have taken the first bond and put it over here then the second one you have to put it over here because always polymers uh, remain with open bonds right so again we're going to write a carbon over here and a chlorine over here and a hydrogen over here so we have written uh, the first monomer so we are told we have to repeat this same monomer how many times three times so I'm going to write it again so we have uh, the hydrogen over here another hydrogen over here then we have a chlorine over here we have hydrogen over here right so we have written how many numbers two so we have remained with a last monomer, right? So we have hydrogen over here, hydrogen over here. Then we have chlorine over here. Then we have another hydrogen over here. And as as I said earlier, on, you have to and to remain this polymer with uh, a bond over here right so this is how it will look so this is um, a polymer a polyvinyl chloride polymer which has contained three vinyl chloride monomers so you have the first monomer which is over here the second monomer and then we have the last monomer right so this is the, f uh, the possible answer for this question right let's go to the last question give one reason why poly, uh, polyvinyl chloride is used an, uh, as an insulator so the reason was simple because polyvinyl chloride does not conduct what electricity and for that reason it can be used as an insulator because it does not conduct electricity so that was the possible answer right so because because it does not conduct ele electricity right thank you very much for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. See you next time.